What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Vitamin Lead, your healthy dose of leadership. I'm your host, TJ Reed. I want to talk to you about Wells Crowther. Have you ever heard that name? Wells Crowther was a financial equities guy, and he was also a volunteer firefighter. On a Tuesday, he was standing at a bank of elevators waiting for the elevators to come when the first plane hit the World Trade Center on September 11th, 2001. Being a volunteer firefighter, Wells jumped into action and began to help people to escape the burning building. As he realized that the building was on fire and that smoke was coming in, he put a red bandana over his face and began to go in and help people so that he wouldn't inhale uh, any of the smoke that was coming from the fire. Wells is credited with saving 18 lives that day as he would continue to lead them down the stairs. Um, he was found amongst his brothers in the New York Fire Department in the South Lobby. And for so long, he was just known as the man in the red bandana. But as they looked into it, they found that that was his name, Wells Crowther. So I just wanted to take a second today to honor this person that really laid down his life for other people, that led them to safety, even at his own expense. And how incredible that is that people like that exist, right? Uh, and so today, September 11th, uh, this is the 18th uh, Remembrance Day uh, of those attacks. They happened when I was a freshman in college. How crazy. <laughs> it, it seems so recent, but it, it, it's so long ago. But I, I just, I love this story of Wells because he did something so sacrificially for other people. And man, that's what we're called to do as leaders, isn't it? Um, I, I think Wells' story just reminded me of a few things. Number one is that heroes do still exist. Can you recall somebody that was a hero in your life that they didn't have to believe in you? They didn't have to help you, but they did. Who's that person? Maybe if you know how to get in contact with them, maybe you text them, call them, write them an email or a letter uh, just to let them know how much you appreciate it because heroes do exist. And it's us that gets to honor those heroes. I love that with Wells, uh, that he was known for so long as the man in the red bandana, but thanks to great journalism, they were able to find out his name and who he was and be able to honor his memory and uh, honor his family uh, because of his memory. So heroes do exist. Uh, the second thing is most people are good. I think in this world where we just continue to see things happen and these news stories come across, uh, I think it can magnify uh, horrible things in this world. And I'm not trying to diminish those things, but I, I think it's so important to remember that most people are good and that it's our job to continue to do good in this world because it's our job to continue to make sure that we keep hope alive, that we help people, that we help them to be better. Most people are good. And then the last thing is, uh, this is just kind of, I, I don't want to undermine Wells' sacrifice, but uh, maybe your passion on the side is something that will save lives. You see, Wells, financial equities is how he paid the bills, but he was a volunteer firefighter because he felt passionate about that. What do you do on the side? What are those things that you do volunteer that are making a difference. Some of you volunteer with the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. I think of some of my friends. I think of uh, Noah. I think of my wife, Jess. I think of my friend, Steve, and how for so many years they've been doing stuff on the side because they cared about people and wanted to help them find purpose and um, improve their lives. So they do that through coaching. They do that through church planting. They do that through a variety of different uh, routes and avenues. And so you may not get paid for the thing that you're passionate about that brings a lot of purpose and may save lives. But the fact is, is it's still important. So let me encourage you, keep finding those ways to serve. Keep finding those ways to make a difference in people's lives because Ultimately, you might find yourself in a situation where you get to save lives. Wells saved 18 lives that day on September 11th, 2001. And we now remember him not just as the man with the red bandana. We remember him as Wells Crow Crowther. We remember him 
as a selfless hero uh, that was good and did the most good that he could in a really horrible circumstance. So um, thank you, Wells. Thank you, Vitamin Lead community, for continuing to be the great people that you are. Remember, reach out to those heroes that do exist in your life today. I encourage you, remember that people are good and be one of those people and continue to do good. And then whatever your passion and purpose is, keep doing it, even if you don't get paid for it, because you are probably saving lives, lives that you didn't even realize you were saving. And so... Thank you for listening today. This has been Vitamin Lead, your healthy dose of leadership. And this is the man in the red bandana. We will talk to you soon, friends. Bye-bye.